already. Yeah. Nice. Yo, what's up, everybody? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy NAPPIE, and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, you just love it. I have two beautiful ladies here. I've been hey. sound with. Oh my god. I don't have any of them. So today we're going to do this beautiful video. We're going to show what we have in Ghana. They are both Ghanaians, but not in Ghana. They are not living in Ghana. And uh, what's your name? Mamota. They are swimming together. You guys didn't know. Do you know Mamota? <laughs> she, she she's a mermaid. So what's your name? Abna. Abna. Yeah, All right. <laughs> Which part of the world are you at? Me. Mm. I'm in the sea. <laughs> we we'll see. Yeah, if you want to become a disciple, then I'll tell you. All right, all right, okay. all right. <laughs> so, um, you're from Canada. Canada. Where? Canada, Montreal, okay. Quebec. Gang, gang. Say, gang, cat. Say, gang, cat. Shout out to your people out there. <laughs> and how are you? Uh, so, these beautiful ladies are from Canada. And you guys, go look for them. Anytime you are in Canada, go look for them. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, for how long have you been out of Ghana? Shit. For how long have you been out of Ghana? Um, 25 years. 25. And how about you? I was born in Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you speak trees so fluently. How did you learn that? No, I only had to speak tree. So, so uh, <laughs> you speak tree in Canada? Our home in Canada, you speak only three. Yeah. Three English and French. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm with you. Oh! I'm not going there. I'm not going there. All right. So, what brought you to Ghana? Um, the year but this is not my first time. I've been like the first time I came to Ghana. So basically, I woke up one day and told my parents I'm going to Ghana, and they're like, "What? I was like, I'm going to Ghana by myself." So since then, I've been coming to Canada every year. Why? Why did you come and you didn't tell them to come with you? No, I didn't need them. So you wanted to I, come I'm the type of person I like to take risks. Okay. So I was like, okay, what could happen to me? Mm -hmm. Nothing. So I was like, okay, let me just... All right, and have you visited any other parts of Africa apart from Ghana? Um, so I've been to Togo, I've been to Benin, and I've been to Nigeria. Oh, so you want to finish West Africa? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> My plan is to go to Senegal. Oh, Eventually. all right, all right. I'll see you in Senegal. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Uh, what was the question, sir? <laughs> Where have you from, been? From, apart, apart from, from Ghana. Ghana. Any other African this, country? No, this is not. This is the first country? I in Morocco. Like, <laughs> no. Morocco, okay, Morocco is Africa. <laughs> Morocco is Africa. All right. So this is the second country. And how is the feeling like visiting the continent? <coughs> I love it. Honestly, like, it's very different from back home. Mm -hmm. And when you see like you know what people go through here, it gives you another idea of like, how lucky we are to have whatever we have out there. So, like, do you see yourself at home? Do you feel at home? Yeah. And can you cope with the people? How how is it like? I also think that we don't do the same way, and that would be considered like, let's say rude or whatever. <laughs> no, like going to a restaurant and calling them like, pss, pss, like that's my so God. rude. <laughs> <laughs> like that's so rude. That's so rude. Yeah, yeah that's like, so rude. I would rude. wait to get eye contact with the person and just say, "Excuse me." Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And how about you? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't live here. <laughs> Why? I feel like it, because I honestly, let me be honest, I have a bad temper. Right. So if I was to live here, I feel like I'll get beat up. Maybe I know. Yeah, I feel like you beat me up every day. <laughs> All the time. No, I can't live here. I can't. I can't. When you come back home, mm -hmm. do you feel like you're coming to survive or you're coming to live life? I'm I, like life is for the living. So when I come back home, I'm enjoying myself. But at the end of the day, if I was like, I would never think to come and settle here because I feel like the people are just so backwards when it comes to like how to treat people, one-on-one -on -one communication. One on one, just like I'm doing it so well right now. Yeah, you are doing <laughs> it well. You've been, but I'm out. sure you have you traveled. Yeah, I have. Exactly. Oh, exactly. So <laughs> you've, you've been here. able to see other 
um, I guess, experience or you've been able to see how other people um, see are. life mm -hmm. or how, how they are. But here, there's no, so, there's no concept of like, I would say respect or even customer like service. customer service or there's no... Oh my god! Uh. And you you know it's That's true. true. <laughs> have you have you been to a restaurant? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't. Anybody know. watching this? If you've been to a restaurant in anywhere in Africa, once you're black, but have you experienced it so far? Yeah, like everywhere. Even in okay, so I went to Nigeria for a week. Every time I come here, I go to Nigeria just to spend like a week or two. You love Nigeria. Yeah, I love Nigeria. Nigeria is it's, it's life. You know, like it's different from Ghana, but it's life. And one thing I've realized, once you're black, the service they give you is so completely different. Once you're black and you have money, once they approach you and they see that you're from abroad, then it changes. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes more like, okay, says. But, but before that, just for me to get a waiter to like attend to me is hell. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I could be sitting at a table. I had this experience. I went to, um, is it, um, what is it called? The place that we went to go get breakfast. It was so uh -huh. bad you can't even remember the name. Week, week. In Tema? No. In Accra. In Accra. It's anyways, in front of the... the it's okay, don't give any names. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to bash the restaurant. Okay. But like, we were sitting there forever for a week to come to us. Mm -hmm. Then this white couple came. It didn't take two minutes. They went to the table, what you want, with a menu. And, it, and I was like, shit, bitch, I was ready to tip you. <laughs> but now I'm not going to tip you. <laughs> but like, the service is just bad. Like, they have no concept of like... Customer service, service has no yeah. concept of nothing. I'm so sorry. Yeah. On behalf of everyone. I'm I love so you guys. So. Yeah. <laughs> you All right. Good job How about the positive vibe, the positive aspect of what you've gone through so far? The people are welcoming. Mm -hmm. Like, they will welcome you. They'll make you feel at home. They'll make you feel at ease. That's one thing I love about Ghana. Um, I'm not scared in Ghana. Right. Sorry, Nigerians. I'm not scared <laughs> in Ghana. <laughs> I'm not scared in Ghana. <laughs> are you I'm scared not, too? No. no. Like, I feel like I'm back home, like I could walk out any time and just do me and I know like I'm good, you know? Alright. So what what are your last words for people out there? People from the dice for people who Come to Ghana, invest, grow the country. Because if we don't do it, nobody's gonna do it. On some real. Like if we don't do it, nobody's gonna do it. You need to show them how how certain things are good. Are supposed to be like working, how certain mm -hmm. things are supposed to be functioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are as a growing young youth what is the advice for the people like you have been out there you've seen a lot of things working out so what is your advice for the youth come back here? home no living here living here what do you think they can do to support themselves and grow the nation economically shit that's so deep right they need to <laughs> no because it's, it's deep because everything's against them yeah it's really really deep because i like honestly i don't know what to tell you guys everything's against you guys everything's against you guys they're always bribing you guys. Sorry, I'm going to be honest. They're always bribing you guys. It's hard. If you don't have money here, you are nobody. And, and, and it's hard. So for the youth, all I'll say is stay on your hustle. Hustle hard. Don't give up. As long as there's a way. Yeah. How about you? What advice do you give them? Honestly, keep pushing and maybe... Try and travel. Get out of the, yeah, try and travel. That's an eye-opener. There's a big world yeah. out there. Like, there's a big, big in that crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really love it. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if it's your first time. And what else? Do you have anything to say? D C R A B A N K. T H E C I A R A dot bank. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. And Mami Water TV is coming soon to you. Follow. How are you? <laughs> Enjoy Ghana. That's it. Enjoy Ghana. Peace out. Oh, what's going on, people? This is a call. I want to send a big shout out to the homie Nappy Briggs. All the great work he's doing on YouTube. Big up. Thank you so much. Are you ready? Yeah. Nice. Yo, what's up, everybody?